Welcome to Data with Arul channel. So we have already did a Mage.ai video. So this is our second video. Thanks for your support guys. So it's going good. So we are going we are going to start with the second video today. So today what we are going to do is a kind of an interesting thing. So with this data plumbing, the same ETL what we are going to do is we are going to take out a Kaggle dataset CSV and on top of that we are going to apply some transformation and again we will be adding that dataset into the MySQL table. So how we are going to do all these things will be followed in this video. If you are liking this video please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you will not miss any updates okay so yeah as uh, this is the mage.ai home page so if i want to create a pipeline i need to click on the start building first and this is their github repository so in this if you go here this is a good write-up about their product and here uh, we can see this is how we need to if we have python installed in our machine then this is how we need to install the mage ai okay then after that if we use pip install mage ai then our mage ai will be installed then after that we need to issue this command mage start and then this is the project name which we want to run so in my case i am running a project already and i bring up the uh, project so if you want to look at uh, how i am creating a project you can look to my previous video there we have explained it how we can create a project okay so this is how once the project got launched this is how the windows look like after that first i am going to kaggle so the thing is like uh, we can download any data sets from kaggle so we can go to kaggle data sets okay so here we can see a lot of data sets are there right so in this okay let me take uh, something interesting like uh, okay this is top 100 movies on netflix okay so this is having the director here everything so i will be downloading the csv file of it okay so this is the csv file name so i am downloading it And what I am going to do is I am going to take up this data set and I am going to load this to my uh, SQL. So before that I this is having all the movies. This is having just 100 movies and out of that 100 movies all the movies between 1960 to 2022. So and then like uh, in this I, I am going to filter out what and all movies are released after the year 2000 okay so likewise i am going to filter out so for that i am creating a new pipeline this is a standard batch pipeline only so here i am clicking data loader first and then python and then i am going to load the data from local file so i am clicking local file and this will be my Netflix movie loader okay just clicking save and add block and here this is the file path we need to give so here I am just I already copied the path right so I am just pasting it so the thing is like we need to change this last to this one then only 
this file system will be recognized in python so python is coded in a way like that so if we give the file path like this then i am just testing it okay there is a double quotes in it so i am just removing it okay so now we can see the data frame like uh, inside that data frame like we have all the movies top 100 movies of netflix is coming so 100 loads 100 rows are loaded so i want to filter out only the movies which got released after the year 2000 okay so how i can do that is so now this loader block is executed then after that after that we can create a transformer block so this is how we will transform the data so here i am going to apply a filter right so this filter and this one i am telling like uh, after millennia movies okay i'm just saving and adding this block and here i know this column name as here so i can give this in this filter action so here it is greater than 2000 okay this is this is very simple guys so next if i am clicking on run okay it just picked up only 86 rows so these are the 86 rows 86 records which released which which is containing the movies which got released after 2000 okay so from here again i am going to export this data into mysql so before that whatever uh, we are configuring the mysql workbench we need to put our configurations in io config file so inside this io config file we can configure aws azure clickhouse google service mysql but ours is mysql only so this is our target stuff so this is where we are going to store the data so how we can do is like uh, my installed mysql is running on my machine so my machine name is sra titus that we can see here okay so yeah here you can see the sra data right so this is my host name so this one we can give and this port name is default 3306 and we need to give the mysql username and mysql password that's it after that now we have the data exporter so we can go into data exporter python and then i am going to export my data into mysql so i need to click on mysql this will be my movie to db okay so i am just saving and adding a block so here i am not changing anything i am just naming a table here that's it so my table is going to be netflix millennia movies okay so if i run this we can see mysql got initialized opened and then it is showing exporting data to netflix mill movies so if i open my mysql and here i am going to queries and okay so here i am just showing my tables so netflix mill movies is there so i can select star from netflix underscore mill underscore 
movies okay so i am just executing this command along see so all these things are coming so i need to confirm whether my filter got worked or what because we have given only to come up with only uh, after 2000 movies only see nothing is coming yeah so it is working so this is how we can do a data pipeline guys and in the pipeline itself that is my pipeline so this is my pipeline session yeah so netflix movie loader millennium movie filter and movie to db so i need to schedule this pipeline to run on a specific time so for that what i can do is i can go ahead and create new trigger and this will be running on a schedule so this trigger name I am going to name it as <coughs> my pipe my trigger something like that okay so this frequency I need to run hourly daily weekly monthly so we can custom it also so I need to run it once now I am going to start the trigger now the time is 10 and then this is an UTC so if I just click on save changes so now initially the trigger will be inactive so I need to start the trigger see it is running now so we can see the block runs so initially this netflix movie loader is completed then again this is getting queued this is also completed and inserting it to db also completed likewise only guys so this is how mage is simplifying the etl data pipeline so i think this will be useful if you have any doubts please please leave a comment on this youtube video thank you so much guys bye